This video is for demonstration purposes only. It does not replace careful review of the product installation instructions included in the CSJU kit. For steps one through three, prepare the cable based on the installation instructions. Step four, remove holdout stabilizer. CSJU splices come equipped with a holdout stabilizer that must be removed prior to parking the splice body on the cable to be spliced. To remove the stabilizer, remove the pull ring by pulling it away from the stabilizer. It will break off. After the pull ring has been removed, release the stabilizer by moving the stabilizer release loop away from the splice body while supporting the end of the stabilizer. The stabilizer assembly will then easily come out of the holdout. The splice body is now ready to park on the cable. Step 5. Park splice body on cable. Slide the splice body over the cable end so that the release cord of the spiral holdout points away from the cable end. Step 6. Install connector. Choice 1. Shear bolt connector. Confirm dimension between the semicon cutbacks for proper placement of splice body. Insert conductors so that the insulation butts up with the end of the connector. Hand tighten the shear bolts so that the connector stays in place. Follow the tightening sequence as shown in the drawing in the installation instructions. Using the abrasive tape included with the shear bolt connector, smooth any remaining part of the shear bolt that remains higher than the connector. Abrade insulation if necessary and clean insulation using approved solvent. Choice two, compression connector. After installation, use abrasive strip to deburr connector if necessary. Abrade insulation if necessary and then clean insulation using approved solvent. Clean and degrease the compressed conductor. Step 7. Install tape mark. Install several turns of marking tape onto the cable semicon. This will be a guide for installing the splice body. The tape should be installed on the opposite side from where the splice body is parked. Step eight, lubrication. With a gloved hand, lubricate the cable insulation up to the semicon cutback and tape mark with the supplied blue DCC grease. Be sure to use extra DCC to form a bead around the semicon cutbacks as shown. Use all of the blue DCC supplied in the kit to help fill voids. Do not use standard silicone grease. Install the splice body. Straighten out the neutral wires and feed into splice pass-through tube. Release the spiral holdout by pulling counterclockwise while holding the splice body in place. As the splice body recovers, be sure to align the edge of the silicone body with the edge of the tape mark as shown in the installation instructions. The spiral holdout cannot be pulled out all at once. Slowly pull the spiral holdout on top of the cable and then pass it around and underneath the cable until the spiral holdout has been completely removed. Step 10. Remove tape and lift up neutral wires. Remove the temporary tape that was applied in step two. Lift the neutral wires up vertically and bring them close to the neutral wires from the pass-through tube. Install a C-crimp connector on the neutral wires and crimp them together. Cut off any excess neutral wires at the connector. 
bend the connector down to the side, away from the splice. Wrap C-crimp connector with vinyl tape as shown. Tape over neutrals and C-crimp from jacket to the end of the pass-through tube. Repeat for the other side. Step 11. Expand rejacketing sleeve. Install a strip of gray sealing mastic at each jacket cutback. Wipe any grease material off of the black rejacketing sleeve to allow for a positive grip on the rejacketing sleeve. Twist the top black rejacketing sleeve from side to side to release the grease under the jacket. Slide the rejacketing tube over the cable jacket. Cut release liner and red poly sock under overlap before releasing second jacket half. Remove release liner and red poly sock, being careful not to damage the jacket or the splice body. Step 12. Expand rejacketing sleeve. Twist the second half of the splice jacket to release the grease under the jacket. Slide the rejacketing tube over the cable jacket. Cut release liner and red poly sock under overlap, being careful not to damage the jacket or the splice body. Splice is complete.